Previously, on Camp Hell Hill. The chief physician, a medical officer. That guy will help us tie up this joint. Bring him. Order the men to set up a pharmacy. I want this place to start at least looking like a hospital. Sir. We have VC Raiders in our perimeter. A level 9 security threat. Dispatch all combat personnel available. The red boy died of wounds, sir. I'll be damned. We are gonna get them in their village. Fuck. Thanks to our chief physician and the new pharmacy, the base is starting to look better. But we are still undermanned, and have no medical facility to treat the wounded, and those VC harassing us. HQ wants us to go get them in their village. Lieutenant. Let's see what reinforcements we can get HQ to send our way. Well sir, there are some very good options we could take. Yes, indeed. But we have more doctors than we can use. Ditch that medical specialist. A forensic specialist I didn't imagine we would be needing so soon, but I intend to keep my boys out of plastic bags, so I won't use him for now. Now this is a hard choice. A group of trained military police, or a large number of general personnel. I could really use both of them, anyways. Just get me more soldiers in here. The more the merrier. Yes sir. That will mean for more combat teams. Another bunch of medics. And three more technical personnel details. Good. Let's put those men to work. Well sir. The thing is. With our level of supplies, I couldn't get a hold on plans for a medical module. You have to be kidding me. I need those modules to treat the wounded. Ammo depots and gate checkpoints don't make for a hospital. Not even in this snake eaters infested place. Get that air ambulance in here. At least we'll have some bandages to treat the freaking cook if he chops his finger off. Right away sir. I'll get some technicians and medics on it. With those VC around and the suicidal mission HQ has given us, I can't imagine what else could possibly go wrong in here. Sir. Apparently we are out of fuel and parts to make our land vehicles operative. We'll need to send people to HQ to bring them by ourselves, or we will not partake in any mission whatsoever. That is our number one priority. I need the truck to get us to that damned village. We have enough men to go to that mission. Sir, if we fill up our truck, we need to take medics and technical personnel, and cargo, and bring back the wounded. That leaves little space for a fighting force inserting by land and expecting moderate to heavy opposition. Besides, our base will be almost deserted when those VC raiders come hit us again. Are you proposing that we sit on our asses? Lieutenant, this is war, we have a job to do. With all due respect, we will be facing heavy casualties we will not be able to treat in time, this hospital will turn into a slaughterhouse. Captain. All right. Assign the remaining combat personnel to base security. I'll speak with HQ but if we have this conversation again, Lieutenant, you will be steering the truck yourself. Understood sir. Crystal clear. Sir, our convoy has reached HQ and will be bringing the fuel and truck parts we need, so that won't be a problem in the future. Viet Cong raiders have continued attacking our base. They have a damage power of 9. That is a 10 if we count our base security situation. We have 5 combat personnel in the response team, and the perimeter foxhole, for a total of 6. That reduces damage to 4. That means two green casualties and one yellow one. Yes, but we have no way of treating them here yet. Their condition deteriorates. A critical patient died of his wounds. Store the corpse in the morgue. The others will soon follow unless we can do something about it. Get me those modules plans. Whatever it takes. With our convoy returning with those spare parts and the VC raiders gone, 
Next week we will focus on getting things straightened up. Tell the men to get some rest. The air ambulance is up sir, we are gonna get them. Well what do you know? First we bomb them, then we heal them. Hearts and minds, right? Hearts and minds.